Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to focus on simple reharmonization, where we take a simple nursery rhyme song, Baba Black Sheep, and turn it into something like this. Let's dive in. Alrighty, so in order to understand um, how to use simple substitution, you first must need to know your major scale. So I've got here in front of us a C major scale. I'm not going to go into how to build a scale or chords. Um, I can make another video regarding that, but for now I'm going to assume um, you understand about chords and scales. So I've got a C major scale here. I'm going to go ahead and build my chords. And then we obviously end on C. Um, I've gone ahead and put a scale degree underneath and I'll go ahead and label the chords. And then C. Okay. So now the most important thing is once you've labeled your chords, as such, we need to group the chords in order of their function. So I've gone ahead and done this here, and you can see that we have three different families here. And each of the families have um, different uh, functions. So those in the tonic family are very stable, <coughs> and they don't really want to go anywhere. Um, so you've got C, E minor... A minor. Um, these are very somewhat stable chords um, and they don't want to move. The subdominant family is a little unrestful and the reason why it's unrestful is because you've got the F's, all right? And the F um, wants to resolve up or down. And then in the dominant family you have the B, the leading note, um, which has a very very strong pull to the, the one or the C in the scale of C major. So if I was to play a scale, that's the leading note. And you want to, to resolve. And that has a very strong pull. And so anything in here is the dominant family. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and label the chords here. So you've got C, E minor and A minor. In the tonic family, you have F major and D minor in the subdominant, and then you have um, G and B diminished in the dominant family. I'm not going to talk about B diminished in this case, so in circumstances where in the song there is a G, we're just going to leave it as a G, um, or I might reharmonize it to something from the subdominant family. Um, and I'll show you this right now. So here we have um, Baba Black Sheep. <coughs> I'm going to leave that there. So Baba Black Sheep, if I was to play this. All right, that's Baba Black Sheep, um, not harmonized. It's just in its original form. Here you can see where I've pulled things from the groups. So in bar one, we've got C major. And C major is related to E minor and A minor. So I decided to use the E minor just because G is the common tone between C and E minor. I left F as is because um, it sounded great and I thought it's also nice to also leave part of the original um, harmony so people can follow along. You can obviously go as crazy, um, but it's always important to have the listener in mind uh, so that they're brought along in the journey. Here I've also replaced the C chord for an E minor because of the G in the melody. Now interestingly, we have a G7 here and I decided to use a D minor 
um, in this case, and I based that off the F. So I went to a subdominant chord and I used the D minor here. Again, we've got a C and this time we've got an E as the melody note and I've used the A minor. And in the last bar here, I have used a D minor for the G7, then went to the G7, and then a C. If you know about jazz, that's a 2-5-1 progression, and it works very, very well um, as part of an ending cadence. One thing to keep in mind is that it's important that you play through your uh, reharmonizations. So sometimes um, it works to have an E minor here, in this case here, but it doesn't necessarily always work. So in this case here, I also went with A minor because I thought it sounded good, <clears throat> as opposed to using an E minor. So now I've got the whole of Barber Black Sheep reharmonized just by going through those simple steps. Um, that is by looking at the family and looking at the melody note and seeing what can work. And this is it, um, played. <clears throat> and I'm going to improvise a little and uh, enjoy. So I hope now you understand how simple reharmonization works and you can go away and apply that to your own music. If you subscribe and click the notification bell, you'll be up to date with future videos where I take Baba Black Sheep and further apply more modern reharmonization techniques. So stick around, please like and comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.